Hey all, Vespinia. Welcome back to Legends of Equestria. Now in this episode I plan to take us to Ponydale, but before we do that, we have the library where we need to hand in a book from... I forgot the name already. From, 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 from... Is this Rosemary's book? Yeah, to find a link, which is the pony just before us. Or who is the pony just before us, rather? Let's talk to Fine Link. I think this might be the pony that trapped us in a dialogue. Let's hope she doesn't do it again. Do you just like staring at other ponies? Do you actually have some business here? Well, I have some business. Yes, from Rosemary. Book written, right? Just give it here. Here's Rosemary's book. <laughs> now scram! Oh, you're very rude. Wow. Do I need to go back to Rosemary then? Return to Rosemary, okay we do. And I think I remember roughly where she is. And with teleporting, this should be a cinch. Let's see... Uh, maybe she was up here, right? She was up here, I think. Oh. Um, I teleported somewhere. Was I supposed to teleport here? Like, she was somewhere in the back, wasn't she? she? This might be the way. Ah, there we go. I did remember. Let's talk to Rosemary. Did you deliver the book? Yes, it has been delivered. Excellent. Also, I have a good news for you. I managed to find a place of your relic after all. A piece of your relic after all. Not a place. Uh, some pony was using it as a drink coaster. <laughs> but after I washed it and dusted it off, it's as good as new. Here you go. Thanks, that's one down. Any idea where the next one is? For more help finding the pieces, I think you should ask our Thyme. He's a great collector of curiosities. Oh, and tell him that his horn's fallen behind the dresser. His horn's fallen behind the dresser? What? He'll know what you mean, but I don't know what I mean. Right, time should be just downstairs actually, so we might as well just speak to him. There he is. Stock of time. Who goes there? Have you brought anything for me to add to my collection? I uh, don't know. I need help finding an artifact. <laughs> Sorry, wrong horse. No, I need help finding an artifact. Go away. I'm taking a well on break for my ungrateful students. Um, Rosemary told me that your horn's fallen behind the dresser. Well, I'll be saved. If Rosemary says it's there, then it's surely there. Did you want something else of me, little one? Uh, Pasty asked me to recover pieces of his euphoric fedora. Do, have you seen any? You what? You mean the apparate amphora? <laughs> oh, he keeps getting that wrong, that's right. I didn't know it was in pieces. Then again, I don't get out that often. Hmm. Now that you mention it, a piece may have come my way, I will check for you. In the meantime, would you be so kind as to go and get me an apple? I'm a little hungry, you see. Now the popular opinion is that the best apples come from Sweet Apple Orchard. But the ones in Bluebell cells across the street have always been good enough for me. Sure, I can do that. I'm never gonna get to Ponydale, am I? Uh, let's see... I cannot remember where to even... Oh, there's Bluebell. I was gonna say I can't remember where to even start looking for Bluebell and she's just right here. Never mind that. Do we have to talk to her? Do we actually need to shop? She looks very rarity-ish with her mane. Have you been to the castle? I love the castle. I also love the library and the hospital and li literally every other building. Um, bye. Okay, apparently we need to shop. Do we actually have enough bits to buy an apple? I think we do. I'll buy one. There we go. I now have six bits and an apple. Let's go back to time. Oh. Who goes there? Have you brought anything? La la la. We know that. What are you collecting? No. Any help finding an artifact? Sorry, wrong horse. Um, but I have your apple. How do I give you the apple? Have you gotten me my apple? There we go. That's what's the right dialogue choice, I believe. Yes, I have. I hope you don't mind the color. What's wrong with the color? It's just yellow. 
Stuff and nonsense, it's just an apple, color notwithstanding, no treasure to be analyzed. It will do nicely, thank you. Oh, I found the Amphora script in my oddity section. I must not have recognized it when some pony brought it to me. Here you go. Thank you. Can you think of any pony else who might have a piece? How many pieces are there? I have two now, right? I'm guessing three pieces. Let's go with three. Yes, I do know as a matter of fact. You must ascertain the whereabouts of Sage and Locomote there without delay. Take care as he is rather... He is a rather ancient soul. Nonetheless, do not trifle with him. I need... Oh, where is the sage? Let's see... Maybe this way? Does my minimap work yet? No, it doesn't. Dang it. Uh, that's the... And that's the pie horse. And we do not yet have his cherry pie. Let's see the sage. We'll have exclamation marks in every direction now. That's the train station to Ponydale. Maybe it was back at the... Is that the donut Joe shop? That ah, might be. I don't know. Concentrate, that's one. We need to find the sage, not get distracted by donuts. Uh, if I was a sage, where would I be? I would be at the top of that tower. Let's go see. Professor Dapple? No. Sophic Sky? Oh. Ah, no. I'm going places. I don't mean to go. I want to go to the top. Because that's where I would be if I was a sage. And I cannot go in here. Alright, fine. We will go downstairs. Not entirely downstairs. Oh, never mind. Alright. And... Well, there's Professor Flamel. Oh, is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. Let's talk to the sage. Hello, little one. I am Sage. The Sage, I have. I have heard word that you are looking for pieces of parsley lost artifacts. Yes, the apparent metaphor. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have not <laughs> been so amused in decades, dear foal. And I'm not doing the laugh, by the way. If parsley... Heard you calling it that, he would have a fit. I may have found a piece. Yes, just a second, let me root through my belongings. Hmm. I happen to have on me a statuette, a mirror, and a cheese grater. I'm positive one of these is part of the amphora, and the other two are junk. But for the life of me, I can't remember which is which. How am I supposed to know? Uh, statuette, it's the mirror, it's the cheese grater. No, no, that can't be right. Oh, are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, let's go with the statuette. Yes, that has got to be it. Now run along. I have to look at the at myself while creating cheese. Why? That's a weird thing to say. It is. It's, it's like really, really a weird thing to say. Where's parsley? I should have everything now. Yeah? Let's see. Well, that's study book. Are you parsley up there? You are! Great! I have all your pieces for the thingy. That I can never remember to pronounce correctly. Have you found the pieces of my apparate amphora? Yes, yes I have. What's the other option? You bet your sweet hippie I have. I ah, will go with the first one. Yes, yes I have. Sterling effort. I cannot find words to express my gratitude to you. Let us reassemble this precious commodity. There, it is once again whole. Now for the moment I have been waiting days for. What does it do? Watch in awe. Ah, so it was a... a... Well, of course it's a bottle opener. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. I told you as much, you really should brush up on your... Athmanian history. 
Little Pony. The unicorns of old were well known for their crafts pony ship. This is a glorious device that I am sure I could not do without. And now you have witnessed why it is so precious to me. So I just wasted all that time for a bottle opener? Yes, and all that work relate, <laughs> resulted in a great end. And I am now free to enjoy one of my favorite beverages. Ah, how refreshing. But I'm afraid the well has run dry before my thirst was truly quenched. Ah well, it is of no importance now that a wonderful relic has been returned. Hmm? Um... Yeah, you'd better pay me for this, actually. I thank you most kindly for your effort. It was not an easy task. But at least I can now put the amphora to good use. Even we ponies of the present can discover practical value in the works of the past. For this, you should be rewarded appropriately. Here, take this pair of gala boots I confiscated from a foolish student. Or foolish? Or foolish? And oh, 50 bits more for your troubles. Farewell, my hardworking companion. Oh, wow. I leveled up in everything again. All right, actually we did, um, we got Gala Boots. Let's see, the level one cell value, four bits. Legend has it that wh whoever's hoops can fit into these boots will look fabulous for the Gala. Does it have any stats or anything? I don't know. Can I equip them? Where? I can. Um, yellow does not go well with me. It, it really does not. No, 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 I cannot wear these. I'm sorry, it's just no. I did get 50 bits, which is a lot. I feel it's a lot anyways. Oh, there was one more thing before we went to, or go to Ponydale. We should speak to Starvers Nova because I talked to her and it seems I can choose to get a talent mark in either healing sick ponies a talent marking in magic, a parting talent, and a blank flank, and advice. So I guess this is where we sort of choose our talent tree or our class, maybe? I'm not sure. We will go with magic, because well, as I said in the first episode, I'm kind of a mage type. So you want to pursue magic as a possible talent. Excellent! Magic is a great field, a wonderful field of study with endless possibilities. So, if you find that it calls to you, go for it. If not, you'll still be free to change your mind and try something else. Alright. Thanks, Miss Nova. I'm ready. To start learning about the arcane, just find Rosemary. But we just went to Rosemary. She likes to hide behind the university on a balcony up the stairs, two flights and around the back. She'll tell you more about magic and introduce you to the other teachers. Good luck. Alright. Let's see if we can find Rosemary again. Who's Enki? Hello? Life's full of chances. You'll only learn so much if you play it safe. As in, we shouldn't play it safe because then we'll learn more, I guess? Uh, let's teleport up there. I think I was on the wrong level, but now we should be at the right one. There we go. Hello, Rosemary. I don't want to talk to your hair. I would like to talk to... well... Don't move! Uh, yes ma'am, or... wait, what? Why? I'm gonna go with wait, what? Uh, that's a proper Fitzman response, or Ether response in this case. Hush, stay still. The magic's coming from you. I can feel it. Ex exceptional. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, you're making me blush, and I don't think that's true. Let's go with the first one. What do you mean? I can see that you are a source of great magic. I saw it in the scrying flames, and I see it now. Our institution will be valuable for you, little unicorn. Oh, and I never thought that was possible. Now let's go with oh. There's no need to be modest. We've been expecting you. We're always happy to share our knowledge of the king with young Phyllis and Colts. So I hope you're ready to learn. To begin your studies, you'll need to learn the basics of magic. It's not as easy as lighting your horn up. Aww. We have all been with the university since we were young. It has served us well and I believe it will serve you well too. 
What you must do is devote yourself to the art and study of magic. It won't be easy, sometimes it'll be difficult and you'll want to quit. But I'm getting off topic. Are you ready to learn? Yes, for sure. Brilliant! Now to truly understand the form, you must know that magic is, is in all things. Every creature and object in the world, from a tiny speck of dust to the greatest and most fearsome dragon, has a unique arcane signature. Think of it like a talent mark. Every pony has their own talent mark and everything has its own arcane impression. Even in non-unicorns, magic is present. Your manipulation of these elements in what will lead to your, is what will lead to your success. But first, you must know your basic abilities present in all ponies. You are able to pound the ground to injure and anger your enemies, and you can send a barrage of bubbles at them to calm them down and disorient them. Do you understand? Well, actually I do. Yes, ma'am. Well, if that's the case, you're able to move on to proper magic. Now, there are many ele elements of magical thought, enchantment, conjuration, divination, abjuration, very many indeed. And in time, you shall learn all of these through the grace of our beloved university. But today, you must learn how to manipulate your magical strength, so that you may become accustomed to using your power. Wow, that's a lot of reading. Now, I am skilled at high-level divination, but it isn't much good for you today now, is it? Sage, Parsley and Thyme have cried a bit of information on more practical magic for you. You should try to find Thyme first. He is usually hiding behind the supply crates at the bottom of the stairs at the courtyard, whenever he is not teaching or consumed in his research. He can teach you what poses and pricklies, a simple spell to let flowers grow and calm and slow your enemies. Good luck, student. I have a name. I do have a name. Right, right, of course. <laughs> Be sure to introduce yourself to time. I helped you deliver a book, you ungrateful pony. You. Alright. Well, I'm guessing we focus on getting our skills and spells up to speed. Those should be fairly important, I feel. Let's talk to Thyme. Who goes there? Oh, that's the same sentence again. What are you collecting? No. Oh, I'm here to learn magic. Hmm? Yes? I'm here to learn posies and pricklies. Rosemary sent me. Ah, yes, yes. I heard whispers of a new student around. If you're here, that must mean Rosemary is approved of your ability, and that is a very good thing indeed. It means you've got some magic in that horn of yours, which you'll need plenty of for these abilities. Speaking of, if you're ready to learn about it, do tell me. I'm ready. Right then. Poses and Pricklies is one of the more useful spells I've amassed over the years. Pricklies can enrage enemies and Poses can calm them down. Of course, like all skills, you'll have to decide which expert you want to prioritize. I wouldn't recommend both, as you won't be as effective as if you had decided to focus on just one. Some say it's mind control, but I promise you it's definitely not. Um, what do I want then? Um, hmm. Sweet, tell me more. Oh, goodness. Now. You should know that even though they might seem like separate spells, they actually come from the same source. There's only a single quantum state that changes, so the resulting wave field... Oh, that's a bit much for you to understand right now. Suffice to say, a field of flowers will appear, making any creature in the area wild with rage or quiet and peaceful. It will affect any creature, and I mean any creature, from the largest dragon to the smallest of butterflies. The better you become at casting the spell, the longer it will last and the stronger the effect it will have. Keep in mind that it takes a nice chunk of energy out of you, so you might want to go easy on the castings. So, that's so cool, I can't wait to try it out. Interesting choice of words, that's exactly what you'll do with me. To show that you understand how it works, you'll hit me first with pricklies, then with posies. It's important... But the important thing to watch is how it changes the way I behave. Do not worry, I've been hit with worse. Go ahead and hit me with pricklies when you're ready. So, but how do I do that exactly? Where can I see my spells? That's my pad, that's my notifications, that's my journal, and this is not, nothing, nothing, emotes, index, quests. Right. 
Can I change? No, I didn't want to do that. That's bubble, that's ground pound, that's teleport. Have you taught me the spells even? Hmm. Oh, I'm level two. I didn't even notice. Alright, let's see. Ah! Go away! I am confused. Alright, so how do I do this? Um. Okay. Sorry, wrong horse. I feel like I should have a spell that I don't know where I can find. Under magic, maybe? Maybe that's it, yeah. Posies and pricklies. Alright, here we go. Let's see, so what do we have? So we have protection. Oh, we can. We have all these spells, I guess. Alright, so this is sort of mind control, I guess. Can we drag it down to our quick bar? No? That's a bit of a shame, actually. Oh, wait, we could. There we go. Let's get rid of the emotes for now. Mind control, the spear of protection. We can actually let me switch those. So I have protection on zero and mind control on nine. Poses and pricklies. I can do that. And quell lullaby flower patch, exert more potent magic, quieting your opponent more quickly. Is that also something we need to. Or is that just buffing? Oh, that's sort of buffing uh, this spell, I guess. What is this? Magic arrow. You send the focus plus of magical energy, damaging your target. I feel like that should be on two, and three, and four, and five. All right, let's try that. And we have time. Do we have time targeted? I guess we do. He's on the. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear. I feel like I can break a mountain with my bare hoops. I won't, but arg, I need to. Okay, I have it under control. Now, what a potent spell. You did it well with pricklies. I should mention if you use it and know how to deal with an upset foe, you'll deal more damage when you follow it up with an attack spell. It might be harder to deal with the enemy, but the rewards can be worth the risk. Interesting. I can tell when the student has learned the posies spell well, as I feel calmer than a gentle breeze. Well done. Well, that's it. You've learned something that's not only a useful skill, but something that not many ponies know about. Quite a treasure, in my opinion. Let's see. You should go learn the Sphere of Protection spell from Parsley. It's important to be able to protect yourself, and he's much more proficient with it than I am. You might want to be a little careful around him, though. He's got a bit of a temper, you see. And this one times I... Anyways, I wish you well, young colt. I do have a name. Right, but I already have these spells, don't I? I mean, I can cast this one. Can I? Oh, maybe I can't. So, this spell... Which one do I actually cast when I choose it? Because it's called both. Um, I don't know. How do I choose which one to pacify or incite your opponent? Oh, I suppose this would be the oh, what just happened? What just happened? Oh, server restarting. Dang it. Alright. 
I am still a little confused as to how to change between one effect and the other effect of this spell. Oh, I think I actually may have it now. Maybe? No, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go talk to Parsley. I'm afraid we won't be able to make it to Ponydale in this episode. Or should we go to Ponydale? Mm. Yeah, actually, I'll go back and learn these spells. I just want to show you how to get to Ponydale because I actually was quite confused about it. Uh, is this the way to the... that's not the way to the train station, is it? That's the way to the train station. Right, so apparently, I guess you right-click on the sign here, and you choose to go to, for example, Ponydale or the Crystal Kingdom. And now that we choose Ponydale, well, we are zoning in to... Ponydale. And there is um, snow everywhere. And from here we can go back to Cantermore or the Crystal Kingdom. So yeah, this is Ponydale. I suppose we have to meet with uh, the other young ponies about the Wear Pony quest. And we also need to go to Sugar King Corner to find the Cherry Pie for the Pie Pony. But I am going to go back to Cantamore and quickly learn the other couple of spells that we have in our action bar. And then go back here and pick up the next episode, starting in Ponydale, I think. So thank you for watching, and Fitzman out, see you in the next one.